Vino Zigbo, 152 yards and two touchdowns in Nebraska's win over Minnesota. He joins us now from our studio in Lincoln. Divine, first of all, what did it feel like to finally get that long-awaited win? Uh, it's everything we could hope for, just finally coming, all the work we've been putting in, finally, you know, positive result. It's just, it's just everything you work for. It just feels great. What were the emotions that kind of went through your mind when it became clear to you, we are going to win this game? Like, finally, just like a sigh of relief. Everybody can, you know, everybody can just... All the messages you've been saying that we're going headed in the right direction, it's it's true. You know, we, we feel like we put on a good performance offensively. Defense played, you know, a great game. So it's just, it's just like, all right, all right. Everything that we've been doing is working, and you can just take a breath, you know, get ready to do it again. What was the message from Coach Frost to you guys in the locker room after the game? Uh, yeah, just basically that. Just, you know, just continue working. That He was proud of us for, for continuing to have uh, work, you know, just just overcoming everything that's happened and, you know, just still coming out every day at practice and working hard and things like that. One of the things that really struck me in watching that game is here you have a team that is 0-6, playing a home game, 90,000 people there watching. And I know every game's a sellout in Nebraska, and so to a certain extent this is expected. But what does it mean to be able to share that moment with such a loyal fan base? It was uh, it was a def it was a damn special moment. I couldn't feel even the ride to the stadium from the hotel. I was I looked over to I think it was Mikhail and A. Rose. I was like, yeah, this has like first game energy. Like people were there. Like, you could just see people lining the streets, excited, waving, and then to finally go out there and do it in front of them. You know, it's just that was all to see them. It felt really good because you know these people deserve it. These fans, I think, I honestly agree, they have the, be uh, the best in the country. They come out to every game and just you know just support us no matter what and it just I feel so good to finally give that to them and like me and the team could be able to do something for them because they I feel like they definitely deserve it. How have you guys stayed the course through all of the adversity this year? We just kind of knew like things we just kind of knew we were like one play away here you know just little things and I, we felt like they were controllable so we just went out every day to fix these and correct them and I feel like that's definitely something that uh that kept this team's head in the right uh, in the right headspace and kept us going in the right direction. Let's talk about you a little bit. You were the leading rusher on this team last year, and yet when Scott Frost came in, there were a lot of people who were saying, "Well, he's not never down back in this offense. It's not really clear that he's the right fit for what Frost is going to do." What gave you the belief that you could kind of pick up where you left off, and frankly, even be better this year than you had been earlier in your career? Uh, honestly, I just. I love playing football, so I was going to willing to do whatever it took to continue to play. You know, I definitely didn't want my last year of, you know, a good amount of snaps to be my a junior year. So I definitely, you know, worked hard in the off season as long as uh, along with the whole team, just getting my body in the right position to be able to go out there and, and compete for the job. I'm sure you heard it on the way in, Coach Frost talking about you and saying you are a Sunday guy, meaning you're somebody who can play in the NFL. What does it mean to hear that from your coach? Uh, uh, it's an honor because, you know, Coach Frost, he's been there himself and he's coached a bunch of guys that, you know, have made it there and have been real successful. For So for him to say that about me, I, you know, just real appreciative. And uh, just, you know, hopefully I can go out there and win as many games for Nebraska as we can, you know, win uh, all the ones we have left and hopefully show that maybe I am potentially in a, a, Sunday, a Sunday guy, you know. Well, as good a year as you've had, Adrian Martinez has had a really good one as well. Went over 400 yards of total offense in that win over the Gophers. As you have watched him here with this huge responsibility on his shoulders as a true freshman, what has stood out to you? Uh, honestly, the fact that he came in, he came in already really mature and really talented and just continued to grow. He hasn't, he hasn't uh, descended at all. He's just always been you know, rising up and... And that's just big to see from, like you said, some a true freshman, somebody so young, you don't get there every day. And I definitely think he's uh, he's, he's going to be special. He already is special, but he's going he's to be even better here. Devon, this is your last year in Lincoln, and I know it probably hasn't gone exactly as you expected it would, to say the least. What can you and your classmates do here down the stretch to leave a positive legacy? Just continue to not never quit. Just play every game like it's your last and, you know, go out there and try to get the win for, 
you know, for, for each other, for brothers right and left, and for these fans that, you know, deserve it and things like that. A Divino Zigbo, again, congratulations on a great performance, not just this past Saturday, but a great season in general. Look forward to watching the Thank Huskers you. this Saturday here on BTN against Bethune-Cookman. Thanks, Devon. Thank you.